Hey there, guys. Uh, welcome back. Uh, it's been a bit since I've uh, since I've been on here. Although uh, I just did it, I just got done doing a uh, a video, a uh, a thank you video for uh, my. I just hit. Uh, I'm only by one so far. I've hit uh, I've hit 200 subscribers. So I just did a, a thank you video for that. And uh, you know, you guys should be. You guys will see that one. Uh, You'll see that one up on the channel before before this one, but uh, this video, this this particular one, it's been an idea I've had for about three three or four days, and I've had the I've had the jerseys all sitting here, and uh, you know, just you know, stuff you know with kids, family, just doing stuff. You know, haven't really had a whole ton of time to to you know, devote to it. And of course, I mean, this is also my wife's, uh, work office. So, you know, when she's either, either I'm able to do a lot of my videos after I get home from work at night when she's asleep, or if she's off, if she's off, uh, uh, doing, you know, seeing, seeing some people for, you know, for her job. And, uh, you know, it kind of opens up the, uh, the office for me. Her, her office is right next to here you know where, where she does all of her a lot of her uh her stuff from home and this part of the room as you know is mine <laughs> but uh this this was a this was an idea i've had for for a couple days and i i saw i saw i believe it was twisted rister he did a rank he did a ranking of them but uh i think he did a i think he did a ranking of them he was he was talking about like the 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 uh, and it gave, and it gave me the idea to kind of show from my collection what I have the the little saying that is inside the backs of the collars that nobody's nobody can see them. I mean, unless you know, I mean, I mean, like when you're wearing the jersey, you can't see the design that's on the inside of the collar. So. You know, and I guess that's that's kind of an interesting thing, but uh, but I was I was like I was like, hey, I kind of you know, let me let me look through mine and see how many I have, where then maybe I can show you guys what I what I currently have, and the saying that is in some of the backs of uh, of these collars. So uh, let's uh, let's get to showing you guys. Okay, we're gonna start out with the Anaheim Ducks alternate. This is their, of course, this is their orange alternate, and inside the neckline, as you can see, it says Anaheim. Which, I mean, I, I like, I like, I like the font. I like the way. I, I just, I like it. The Adidas, the 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 Reebok version had it on the outside. And it just said, and it just said Anaheim, kind of in smaller letters, like right here, on the Reebok version. On the Adidas version, though, they stuck it in big letters, in the neckline. That's a pretty, that's a pretty cool. Uh, I gotta say, I really, I really do like that. The thing that that has always worried me about, like when they when they've printed these, is I'm not sure what they 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 print the what the material is or what the what that is made out of but i would be worried you know with tons of washes or whatever i don't know if that's eventually going to wash off or start peeling off i'm not sure but i mean i haven't had any issues yet so you know maybe maybe it's pretty heavy duty and it's on there pretty darn well but uh but yeah this uh this of course this is the uh, the first one here. This is the uh, the Anaheim the Anaheim Ducks uh, with uh, Anaheim inside the neckline. We got another Anaheim Ducks one here. This is the 25th anniversary version of the uh, the Anaheim Ducks. Of course, as you can see in there, it's got the you know the Anaheim Ducks. Their silver season, 25th uh, 25th anniversary. This is a jersey that I honestly wish they would 
like go back to in some way, shape, or form. This, I mean, this kind of incorporates their a good majority of their history, and it's it's a fantastic jersey. It's really really nice, and uh, the other cool thing, I mean, this the the duck logo. I mean, it's 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 poofy. So I mean, that's that's really kind of cool. But uh, but again, you know, I mean, this one inside the neckline, it just it symbolizes their their 25th their 25th anniversary their silver season and uh and again you know this they only made this jersey for one year you can still find it it's still available out there but uh but yeah this is a, this is the other one or another one from anaheim celebrating their uh their silver anniversary now we've got the old, I guess we can call it the old, or now just the current alternate for the Arizona Coyotes. It's this, I'm not sure exactly what that is, or what design that is, but I mean, it's it's pretty neat. And I think, I'm not sure exactly how far over it goes. It goes over, it goes over a ways on both sides. But, uh... But I mean, I'm not sure exactly what that design is. I mean, if 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 any of you guys know, and in, in the comment section, let me know uh, exactly what what that design is based is based off of. I figured, you know, maybe it's got something to do like with the their their uh, cliff designs, or like maybe it's like a, like a, a Native American kind of thing. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, it's it's pretty cool. I really it's it's a very neat uh, it's a very neat very uh, interesting looking thing. And this does not seem this seems this does not have the stuff that's just printed on there. This is actually like uh, uh, it seems like it's sublimated into the the fabric of the neckline itself. So that you won't have to worry about that. Uh, washing off in any way shape or form that's that's pretty cool but again you know let me know in the comments section if you if any of you guys know exactly what those designs are based on because they're honestly pretty cool and up to buffalo now as you can tell we're kind of kind of going in alphabetical order this is a very cool design this is of course this is one of those it's not sublimated into the fabric. It's just, you know, it's kind of, you know, printed on there. But this, from what I have heard, is part of the state flag of Buffalo. And so they're kind of paying homage to that, which I like that. I really like, I like that idea. That is a very cool, cool little thing. The star in the middle, the two lightning bolts on either side. It's just, it's a very, very, very nice, uh, Nice little design, and uh, you know, again, these are these are things you don't know are inside the collars. If you're wearing the jerseys, you don't know these these designs are there, but uh, but they are, and they're pretty neat looking. So yeah, this one is uh, it's based on the Buffalo State flag, or it's on the Buffalo State flag, and uh, so yeah, pretty cool. And of course, you know that. Uh, that is the the Buffalo Sabers. Okay, we got a three for here. We got a three for on this one. This, of course, is the, the being the Carolina Hurricanes. This is the uh, the Storm Flags, and these again these are these are actually uh, I think sublimated into the fabric, so they're not going to wash off. But you know these ones they have the storm the Storm Flags here. I mean, I really, really like that. I think that is a really cool look, and uh, it really is is something cool. Those storm flags look nice. Now, this one, this of course, this is Carolina's alternate. You can't really see from a distance, but if you look close up, you got the storm flags here too. It's very, I mean, it's it's cool. They are they're very consistent about. Uh, you know the design they have on the inside of their jersey they're very very consistent on that so of course you know and, and again from a distance you can't you can't really tell that they're there 
until you get up close and there you can see them. And then of course, when they went and they kind of honored their, their history coming out with the Hartford Whalers, they did the same in here. As you can tell there, there's the storm, there's the, there's the storm flags in whaler in whalers blue very very neat very very cool and again they're all sublimated into the fabric so it's not they're not gonna they're not gonna wash off and uh it's just it's pretty it's pretty neat that uh you know they all have you know the same kind of you know the same the same kind of idea you know i can get it all in the shot there you can see all the different you can you can see the different the different colors they're all the same they're all the same storm flags pretty cool for the pretty cool for the carolina hurricanes another neat one this of course carolina the the columbus blue jackets this is their alternate get a little drink of my uh, root beer here shameless plug anybody 1919 root beer really good best root beer you can buy only root beer i've ever seen that's actually on tap in a keg in a bar pretty neat but this one up to up to columbus's up to the blue jackets here the alternate inside the collar you've got you've got the uh this little line here with the stars and of course, this is all just—it's just kind of, kind of printed on. We fight, we we fight, we march. Very, very nice. That's the kind of thing that I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind seeing on the back of Columbus's home and road. That would be kind of, that would be kind of neat. But I guess, I mean, because being they don't have, they don't have the cannon on the front of that. I guess maybe they can't. But it's a cool, it's a really cool little touch for. The uh, the Columbus Blue Jackets for their for their alternate. I mean, of course, you got all the little all the little stars going all the way across. It's uh, very neat. Not sure really if there's any symbolism to the stars themselves. If there is, let me know in the comment section. I'd love to know that. But uh, you know, I mean, the mantra "We fight, we march." That's that's uh, that's pretty darn cool. And another really, really, really nice design. And I know Shannon, the hockey guy, he'd love, he'd love nothing more than for Columbus to go to this jersey, this design, as their home one. Because it would be kind, of, it would be kind of interesting to see this, to see this one in a road with maybe the cream color as the main. That would be interesting. And we're up to Dallas now. Another interesting little thing, not, not exactly sure the meaning or why they just, you know, why they're, they have victory green on the inside of the neckline. I mean, I, is that, is that the, is that the type of color that this is? Is it, you know, is, cause I mean, all, you know, a lot of the different colors have different, you know, different types of the same color. Is that just saying that this is, is uh, victory green? I'm not sure, but, uh, but yeah, on the inside of Dallas's, you got victory green again, you know, I mean, if you guys, if you guys know what that, uh, you know, what exactly that, that stands for in relation to the Dallas stars, let me know in the comments. I'd love to, I'd love to know that also, but, uh, and again, this is, this is not, it's not sublimated into the fabric. It's just kind of printed on there. So, uh, it's probably another reason why you should never wash your jerseys in hot water because I think that would come off. So, uh, but yeah, this was uh, Victory Green for the Dallas Stars. Now we're up to the Edmonton Oilers, even though they, they haven't really worn this jersey in a couple of years. When this when they came out with this in, an, in Adidas, they put this saying on the inside. So if you can see it there. It says, once an oiler, always an oiler. Kind of an interesting, you know, kind of an interesting little, little saying. And I guess, I guess in some ways, you know, if you, you know, if 
I mean, if you're if you're like Wayne Gretzky or Mark Messier or you know, even though you might have played for other teams, you know, you were a member of the Edmonton Oilers. So, you know, in their mind, you know, once once an Oiler, always an Oiler, I guess. It's interesting. They don't have that saying. They only have it on this jersey. Only on this design do they have that saying. They don't have it on the back of, of any, they don't have it on the inside neck of any of their other jerseys. Only this one. So, I mean, that's kind of, uh, I guess that's kind of interesting. But, uh, but yeah, the Edmonton Oilers, once an oiler, always an oiler. And of course, you got the the classic, the all time classic, the Montreal Canadiens, with their their uh, their saying, their mantra inside inside the neckline. Now, this again, I think that no, nope, that is just that's just printed. That's not sublimated. Sublimated. Of course, this is uh, you know that's that's written in French, translated. It's to you from falling hands. We throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. That is what that is the the tra the American translation of that, and uh, I guess that saying is up in their locker room. It is. It's basically. It is. It is the uh, the motto. It is basically the motto of the Montreal Canadiens, and I think their I think their road jersey has that in there also, but. Uh, I just I, I love it. I love I love the I love the historic I love the history stuff like that. And that's just that's that's an awesome that's an awesome saying. I mean, you know, I mean what what more what more can you really say about about Montreal? Okay, before getting to New Jersey, sorry about that. As I was getting to the end of Montreal before hitting the pause button, all of a sudden my phone decided it was going to slide on me. So uh so that would be what would explain the little, uh, the little topsy turvy uh, thing that you guys look at, that you guys will see when you get to this part of the video. But uh, aside from that, on to New Jersey, where you know this is. I mean, it's pretty. You know, it's 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 neat. You know, and this is this is not this is this of course this is all this is sublimated into the fabric, so that's not going to wash off symbolizing their their three their three Stanley Cups and uh you know from 1995 2000 2003 it's very uh you know it's very cool that they do that i mean you know why why wouldn't you you know i mean you won three Stanley Cups why wouldn't why wouldn't you you know commemorate it in one in one way or another and i love to i love the green i love the fact that they do green inside here because it's kind of it's kind of you know keeping with their history because they were they were black red and green, or not black red and green, green or uh, red white and green. Get your color, come on, Larry, get your color straight. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, I mean I love the fact that they keep the green. They they have the green in there. It uh, you know helps commemorate their history. And uh, of course, there there are three Stanley Cups. Up to the New York Rangers home jersey. Now this one, now they have a different they have a different design inside the neck of their road jersey. That one, I believe, it just says New York on the inside. This one actually has the shield. It has the shield in it, which I love that. I love that logo. I wish. I wish they would come out with a jersey with that logo on the front. It would be phenomenal. But uh, but again, you know, I mean, they have the year they were established, established 1926. And of course, this this is just printed on there. So again, you know, don't don't wash it in hot water. That will probably come off. But uh, another really really cool thing honoring honoring their the year that they came in. And it's even and they even did it in the in the numbering style that they that they have the the numbering style that they would have on the on the back of the jersey and on the sleeves you know i mean kind of like you know kind of like here on the front you know it's that whatever that's i'm not exactly sure what that what the the that lettering style is called 
if what if one of you guys knows you know i mean donnell might know but uh you know let me let me know in the comment section what exactly that number that number style is called but uh that's that's pretty that's pretty neat and of course you know like i said i, I don't have the, i don't have the road one the road one says new york on the inside of it this one i think this one's a little better because it has the year they were established and it has and it has the the shield on it so i mean you can't really go wrong there we're up to the sharks now up to the san jose sharks now of course they have it's the same saying on the inside of the stealth jersey which honestly the stealth jersey i don't have but i've thought about getting uh because my uh, my kid's favorite color is teal she loves she loves teal and she has she has a kid's version of the black stealth jersey which that's the one she picked out and it has that it has the saying on the inside of that also and it is this is sharks territory which is i mean i i, I love i love that saying i really do it is very it's very neat it's unique and again this is the the the, the material it's just printed on there it's it's a it's a really it's a really really cool saying and uh you know i guess they just they just want and i guess they've had that they've had this they've had that saying ever since they they came into the league you know whenever but whenever teams would go play in the shark tank they they'd all right hey this is sharks territory so uh you know they just they finally when when adidas came out they decided let's put that on the inside of the neckline Let's put our motto on the inside of the neckline and uh, make it look good. So, uh, yeah, San Jose's, this is Sharks territory. Now, of course, we're up to the new team. We're up to Seattle. And, uh, you know, I, I, love, I love the font. The font is, is really nice. I love the red on the inside of the neckline. And, again, this is just, this is just printed on there. You don't want to, again, don't wash it in, in hot water. That will probably peel off. But, uh, the, and the font is awesome, but I mean, it just says, you know, Kraken. I mean, can you really get, get much better than, you know, much, much better, much better and pretty basic. I mean, you know, you, you know, nothing, fa nothing fancy that you got to do there. You just, you know, you just go with that and it says, it says, Hey, we're the Kraken. Very, very cool. Little, little design. Love that font. I would love to know if that's the type of font that like you could download onto like your phone and stuff because uh you know there's there's a couple of fonts out there that are really nice that i i can't seem to download to my phone i would love to have i would love to have have a uh, download it on my phone so or or my or my laptop you know for when i make thumbnails i'd love to use some of these fonts it'd be pretty cool i mean one of my favorite bands is uh, is iron maiden I'd love to have that font to be able to put a, on on a thumbnail in a video for a video. I think it'd be great. I think it would look really nice. That would look awesome, but this one would look awesome too. I wouldn't mind ha I wouldn't mind ha having having that. But I can't find anywhere that that you know I can download them from. I mean, if you guys can find some areas where you, where that might be able to, where this font or say the Iron Maiden font could be downloaded from onto either my phone or my laptop let me know in the comments i'd love to find that out i'd, lo I'd love to know so i could actually do that but uh but yeah i mean the seattle kraken very cool very cool font style and uh yeah can't really say much release the kraken this is an awesome design for the inside of a neckline this is absolutely i mean it's it's so nice their alternate has the same one their 1970s style alternate has that one has the same style inside this again this is sublimated into the fabric that's not going to wash off that's not going to come out it's just it's it's so neat the you know where they they incorporate they incorporate the red the white the the white and blue stripes there with the red background the floor the floor de lee in the in the center i mean it's just i mean that's it's st louis 
you know, I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a great, it's a great design. And again, you know, I don't, I don't have the 19, their 1970s Adidas style. I don't have that one yet. I'm thinking, of, I've thought about getting that one, but, uh, I'm also looking at, you know, there's, there's a number, there's a number of these jerseys that I might, that I'm looking at also upgrading to, uh, to the prime green because there's some, there's some interesting little, uh, different designs on the prime greens that are a little different than, than the normal Reebok ones. Not that these are bad because they're not, but, uh. But yeah, that neckline is 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 really sweet, and uh, it just it's definitely a neckline that stands out for uh, for the St. Louis Blues. Now we're up to the model of the Toronto Maple Leafs. This is their this is this has been their model for for years, and this of course this is just this is printed this is, again this is just printed on the inside. It's not sublimated, but. Honor, pride, courage. Three simple words. Three simple words that, that mean a lot to fans of the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Maple Leafs in general. It's very, very cool that they put that on the inside on the inside of the uh, on the inside part of the jersey. And uh, yeah. I mean what 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 more can you say? Honor, pride, courage. And now, of course, we're up to Vancouver. Got there. This was the most recent uh, purchase that I had. The video, the video for this one is up on the channel as uh, one of the more recent ones. And uh, the saying on the inside of here. And again, this is this is all. It's all printed. It's not sublimated. But uh, we are all Canucks. Now, granted. I'm from Minnesota, so I don't think that would classify me as a Canuck. <laughs> I don't think I'm a Canuck, but uh, it's pretty it's pretty cool that that's kind of their way of honoring. I don't think I don't think that's just honoring the people of Vancouver. I think that's just them trying to honor all the people of Canada, saying saying hey, we're all Canucks here. So uh, so yeah. Uh, now of course. This one, you only see this saying on the inside of the neck on this alternate. You don't see it on the home one. You don't see it on the on the on the road one. Only this one. But uh, still, a pretty cool uh, a pretty cool message for for Canadians. Okay, we got another twofer here. This is, of course, the Vegas Golden Knights. Now, I also. I didn't I didn't include any reverse retros in here because the reverse retros it's all the same design. The only difference is, is the team the the team abbreviation and the uh, the year on those. So I didn't include those. I didn't include any of those in this in this video because that would have added about another 12 or 13 jerseys. <laughs> so I guess I guess stuck with the with the home the home or the the home and uh, and or third jersey, but you know Vegas, the Vegas Golden Knights. It's nice and simple, and again, just printed on here, but nice and simple. You know, yeah, you, know, you got the two stars there for Vegas, and it's just you know real real nice, real simple design. You know, very 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 cool. And then when they un when they unveiled this bad boy, <laughs> again, can you get can you get more Vegas than gold? That's fan. That's that's. I'm sorry. That's that's fantastic. But this one, this is the unique one. This is cool. Always advance, never retreat. Because that's that's kind of the motto of of a knight, I guess. And uh, you know it's it's pretty it's pretty cool, and they did and they even did it. And of course, this is this is just you know printed on there too, but they printed that on there in the in that in that gold style, and it's really it's really cool. And uh, you know I guess that's 
that's kind of the motto of, uh, of the Golden Knights, you know, is uh, to always advance and never retreat. And the last one for this video, the last one, the Winnipeg Jets. This one, of course, on the inside, this, of course, it's not, it's just printed on there. As you can see, it's kind of in dark, in dark letters, but it just says, it, you know, basic, you know, just your basic Winnipeg, you know, nothing, nothing, nothing too fancy. Just, uh, you know, letting, you know, let's let everybody know, hey, this is where we're from. Even though I think you can kind of tell when you look on the, you look on the shoulders, you know, you know where, you know where you're from, but, uh, but still, you know, it's pretty, pretty neat. And, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the home, the, the home white has that, has that, uh, has that also. And, uh, so yeah, you know, nothing, nothing too fancy on the, on the very last, uh, on the very last jersey of the video, you know, just, uh, you know, it just says Winnipeg on the inside of the neckline. So, you know, it's pretty, pretty simple, simple, pretty basic, but, uh, but yeah, that, uh, that is a look at uh, my Adidas jerseys that have uh, different designs on the inside of the neckline. And, uh, and yeah, that's kind of a video I wanted to do for, for a few days now. And uh, fortunately, I was able to do it. Or fortunately, I was able to finally get to it. But, uh, but yeah, so there is that. And, uh, you know, hopefully you guys, uh, you know, can get all the way through to the end of the video. And, uh, again, I want to thank all of you guys for, uh, for helping get me to 200 subscribers. I love every one of you. And, uh, you know, again, if you're, if you're new, if you're, if you're new and you just happen to come across, whether it's this video or any of my other videos, hopefully you like them. If you like them, hit the subscribe button. Cause I think I still have like, when I, when I look at some of the analytics, I think there's still like 75% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. I'd love it if you guys would hit the subscribe button. It would be awesome. I would love to have you be a part of the channel. And, uh, you know, again, you know, I just, you know, just hit 200 subscribers. Hopefully we can continue to get that, to get that count higher. And, uh, and yeah, it's just, it's, it's pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool feeling that, you know, a lot of you guys like, like the stuff that I put out. And, uh, so hopefully, you know, you guys can make it to the end of the video here and, uh, you know, seeing all the different designs on the inside of the necklines of my, of the ones that I have. And, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, and, and let me, let me know, let me know in the comment section, you know, what are, what are your guys' favorite design? You know, what's your favorite neckline design? You know, do you guys like, do you like the Vancouver one? Do you like St. Louis? You know, how about, how about Edmonton, Seattle's? Which one, which one is the, which design in the neck is your guys' favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. I would love to, I would love to know that. And uh, again, you know, if you're just cruising on through, you just happen to come across, come across one of my videos on my channel. Hopefully you watch them. Hopefully you like them. If you like them, hit the subscribe button. And again, you know, 200, 200 subscribers, awesome feeling. Let's keep that growing. As they say, to infinity and beyond. <laughs> there's my, there's, there's my little, my one little pop culture reference, which I'm not, don't know a whole hell of a lot about pop culture, but but uh, you know, hopefully we can continue to grow that number with your guys' uh, with your guys' viewership and your support. It's uh, it's awesome. With your guys' help, we can get we can get that we can keep getting that number higher and higher. And uh, again, if you're just cruising around cruising around, you just happen to pop and come across one of my videos. Hopefully you like it. If you like it, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you here. And uh, again, I, I thank you. I thank all of you guys very much. And uh, I will talk to you guys again very soon.